Chinese pronunciation. An introduction to Chinese sounds. Learning a new language can be pretty intimidating, but the great news is that Chinese pronunciation is actually very easy to learn. Hi, I'm Tracy, and just like you, I've been learning Chinese with new concept Mandarin. In the next 23 minutes, I'd like to share a few tips and tricks on how you can better understand Chinese pronunciation. So we can get you speaking Mandarin confidently in no time. I want to prove to you that Chinese sounds aren't as difficult as you may think. Are you ready? Before we start part one, let's have a quick look at three key concepts. Number one, 普通话. 普通 means common, and 话 means speech. That's interesting, right? 普通话 is referred to as standard Chinese. Interestingly enough, the word Mandarin is actually a term used in North America. Number two, pinyin. Pin means spell, and yin means sound. This is because every Chinese sound has a pinyin equivalent, which is used as a tool to produce Chinese characters, such as ba, which means the number eight, a very lucky number in Chinese. Number three, initials and finals. A Chinese syllable is made up of an initial and final sound, or just a final sound. Initial sounds are consonants, and final sounds are vowels. Great! Now that that's out of the way, we can move on to part one. Here is an overview of the 35 final sounds. The good news is, 31 out of the 35 sounds are either familiar or similar in English. I guess that's why they call them easy sounds. I like the sound of that, and I'm sure you do too. As you can see at the top of the chart, you have the vowels. Let's go through them, shall we? Ah, o, u, yi, wu, yu. In the next row, you'll see the ah and the yi combined to create i. Next, we have ao, an, ang. Now, in the next column, you have o, o, ong. Next, we have u, a, un, ung, r. And the next column, yi, ya, yao, yen, yang, ye. Yo, yin, ying, yong, and the next column, wu, wa, wai, wan, wang, wo, wei, wun. We made it to the last column, guys. But be careful; this one's a little bit tricky. Let's give it a try. Yu. Yue, yun, yun. Great job, guys! Should we try it with a little bit of music? You never know; it might help you to remember them. Ready? Let's go. Ah, I, ow, an, ang. You're doing so well, guys. Sounds great. O, o, ong, u. A, un, ung, r. Keep going. Yi, ya, yao, yen, yang, ye, yo, yin, ying, yong. Keep going. Wu, wa, wai, wan, wang, wu, wei, wun. You're doing great. Almost there. Ready? Let's go. Yu, yue, yun, yun. Great job, guys. Let's keep going, shall we? Now on to the twenty-one initials. Going horizontally across the table, we have bo, po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le, ge. K, her, 
ji, qi, xi, zi, ci, si, zhi, chi, shi, ri. Oh boy, that was difficult, wasn't it? Don't worry, the last line happens to be the most difficult to pronounce, so let's go through that one again, shall we? Zhi. This might sound funny, but it kind of reminds me of the sound a blender makes when you turn it on. Try it with me. Zhi. It does, right? Zhi. Okay, the next one. Chi. Hmm. If you think about it, it kind of sounds like the blender noise, except with a ch in front of it. Chi. Chi. On to the next one. Shi. Again, it's just like the blender noise, except with an sh in front of it. Shi. Shi. And lastly, ri. I won't lie, this one is pretty difficult to say. Am I wrong? Nope, I'm right. Try and say the word right like this. Right. Right. Ri. Now it will take a little bit of time to get used to pronouncing these. But we're on a roll, so let's keep going. Next we have vowels. Ah. I, ow, an, ung. Is it safe to say that we've all been to a dentist before? When a dentist asks you to open your mouth, what do you say? Exactly. Ah, ah. An example of the sound used in Chinese is ma, which means mother. I. This sound sounds a lot like the I in the English word like. In Chinese, I means love. Ow. Now this word sounds a lot like the ow in how. The Chinese word how means good. An. Be careful with this one because in English it looks like an. It's actually pronounced as an, just like the un in the English word run. An example in Chinese would be kan, which means look. Lastly, we have ung. While there's no English equivalent for this sound, an example in Chinese would be bang, which means help. Shall we try it one more time? Ung. Are you ready for some more? O. O. Ung. All right, for the first one, O. I have a question. How would you say the word or in a British accent? You got it. O. And that's exactly how we pronounce the first final in the table. O. An example in Chinese would be the word 我, which means I. The next one is O. I'm sure you're familiar with do, re, mi, fa, so. It's the same O in so. In Chinese, the word do means all. And finally, ong. While there's no English equivalent, in Chinese, long means dragon. Ong. Moving on, we have vowels u, a, un, ung, r. Let's begin. U. Imagine you're in a tiny room with no windows. And suddenly, a powerful smell overcomes you. You might think to yourself, "Ugh, what is that smell?" Maybe you can think of this when you try and pronounce this sound. "Ugh" in Chinese, "he" means drink. "A." This sound is like the "a" in eight. "A." "Bay" in Chinese means north. The next one. Un. For this one, imagine that you're the husband and you've just come home from work. You might open the door and say to your wife, "Hey, hun, how was your day?" Un. You can think of this sound as the un in hun. In Chinese, hun means very. On to the next one. Ung. While there's no equivalent in English, in Chinese, lung means cold. Ung. On to the next one, R. 
This sound is like the R in car. R. Number two in Chinese is R. Onward onto more vowels. Next we have Yi, Ya, Yao, Yen, Yang, Ye, Yo, Yin, Ying, Yong. To pronounce these correctly, put a Y in front of each of the final sounds. The first one, Yi, is similar to the E in He. In Chinese, Yi means one. Ya. This sounds a lot like the ya in Yahoo. Ya. Xia in Chinese means down. Yao. This sound reminds me of the Italian word ciao, which is used to say hello and goodbye. Yao. In Chinese, the word xiao means small. Yen. This sound sounds like a mix between the name Ian and the word yen, which is the Japanese currency. Yen. In Chinese, tian means sky. Next we have yang. To remember this one, imagine someone calling you old. You're not old, you're young. Yang. In Chinese, yang means sheep. Ye. This sounds a lot like the English word ye. Ye. In Chinese, jie means sister. Yo. Now I myself am a Pisces, but I have a good friend who's a Leo. This sound sounds like the end of the word Leo. Yo. In Chinese, the word yo means have. Moving on, yin. Maybe for this one, you can think of the black and white yin and yang symbol. Yin. Mandarin Chinese pronunciation is called pinyin. Yin. In Chinese, yin yue means music. Ying. This is like the ing in sing. Ying. Ling in Chinese means zero. Finally, yong. While there's no English equivalent for this, in Chinese, chong means poor. Let's keep going, guys. We're almost there, I promise. Wu, wa, wai, wan, wang, wo, wei, wun. To pronounce these correctly, imagine a W in front of each of the final sounds. Right, let's start with the first one. Wu. Okay, this one reminds me a lot of Halloween. You know, kids running around all over the place going, Wu. An example in Chinese would be Bu, which means no. Wa. When Chinese people see something interesting, it's very common for them to show their interest by saying Wa. Wa. In Chinese, the word Hua means flower. Why? This one is pretty easy because it sounds exactly like the English word why. Why? In Chinese, the word kuai means fast. The next one, Juan, reminds me a lot of my Spanish friend Juan. Juan. In Chinese, Juan means play. Wang. When you combine the sounds u and ang, you get wang. Wang in Chinese means king. Wu. How would you say the word or in a New York accent? That's right. Or. Give that one a try. In Chinese, guo means country. Wei. This sounds a lot like the English word way. Way. The Chinese typically answer a phone call by saying way, which means hello. Lastly, wun. To create this sound, combine the sound u with the sound un, and you get wun. The word wun in Chinese means ask. We're almost there, guys.
Now we're on to consonants. The Chinese actually have a really interesting way at remembering these. Try pronouncing them like this: bo, po, mo, fo, de, te, ne, le. Okay, let's get started. The first one, bo, is similar to the b in the English word bed. An example in Chinese would be ba, which is the number eight. Po. This is the same sound as the p in pad. In Chinese, pa means scared. Mo. This is like the m in my. An example in Chinese would be mi, which is rice. Fo. This is like the f in far. In Chinese, the word fei means fly. D. This is like the d in the word door. In Chinese, the word duo means many. Next, we have t. This sounds like the t in tea. Ta in Chinese means he. Next, we have n. This is like the n in new. In Chinese, ni means you. And last but not least, l. This is like the l in love. In Chinese, lai means come. We're so close, guys. Okay, here are three more consonants: g, k, h. For the first one, you have g, as in the g in go. G. In Chinese, go. Means dog, k, as in the k in key, k. In Chinese, kai means open, h, as in the h in high, h. In Chinese, hao means good, and you guys are doing really good. On to more consonants, j, q, x, z. C, C. Now these will take some time getting used to, but I know that you're gonna get the hang of it really quickly. G, as in the j in jar. G, in Chinese, jia means home. Qi, as in the ch in cheese. Qi, in Chinese, qi means seven. Xi, as in the sh. In she, she. In Chinese, she means west. Z. This one's a little bit tricky. The sound sounds a lot like the end of the word regards. Z. In Chinese, zao means early. Z. This is another tricky one. It's the z in students. Z. In Chinese, cai. Means dish, s, as in the s in sea, s. In Chinese, san means three. Okay, onward to part two. Challenging Chinese sounds. There are a few challenging sounds in the mix, so let's do ourselves a favor and take a closer look at these eight difficult sounds. Yu, yue, yun. Yuan, zhi, chi, shi, ri. Right. First things first. Yu, yue, yun, yuan. In order to pronounce these sounds, simply put a Y in front of each final. Let's begin, shall we? Yu. This vowel with two dots on top is the most difficult vowel to pronounce. The sound is created by combining the sound e with u, u. While there's no English equivalent, it does sound a lot like the English word you. In Chinese, yu means fish. Yu. This sound is created by combining the sounds u plus e, yu. If there is no initial sound or consonant in a syllable. Yue is written as y u e. 
In Chinese, Yue means moon. Yun. This is called a nasal vowel. It's created by combining the sounds yu plus n, but should be pronounced as one sound. If there is no initial sound or consonant in a syllable, yun is written as yun. In Chinese, yun means cloud. Yun. This sound is created by combining the sounds yu plus n. Yun. Now be careful, this is also a nasal vowel and should be pronounced as one sound rather than two separate ones. If there is no initial sound or consonant in a syllable, yun is written as yuan. In Chinese, yuan means dollar. Now these next four initials, zhi, chi, shi, ri, are called retroflex consonants. Zhi in Chinese, zhe means this. Chi in Chinese, she means car. Shi in Chinese, shi means be. Ri in Chinese, ri means day. Let's try these four initials again. Zhi, chi, shi. It might take a little more time before you can pronounce this last consonant, but I know you can do it. Part 3. Chinese Tones Chinese is a tonal language. Now tones are the changes of the pitch and pronunciation of a syllable. There are four tones in Mandarin Chinese. Each Chinese word or character carries a tone, but the importance of tones are exaggerated and misleading. Trust me, I've embarrassed myself numerous times by using the wrong tone. So don't worry too much about tones. Just try to be aware of what tone each character carries, and just try starting a conversation. It's good to know that tones are not really that important once a word is spoken in context. As you can see from the table, there are different tone marks above each vowel. The different tone movements illustrate how to stress the four tones. For example, the first tone here would be read as ma, which means mother. The second tone, ma, means flex. The third tone, ma, means horse. And the fourth tone, ma, means swear. If you'd like to improve your tones, please visit www.newconceptmandarin to access more resources. Good luck! And remember, Practice makes perfect.